Swole Benji here. Today, let's just talk about what there is to do in Albion Online. One of the most asked questions I get in my videos comments section, especially the tutorial videos, is what do I do after this? What do I do after the fastest start? What do I do after the perfect start? What do I do after I've got my first month's premium? And that is entirely up to you, but I'm going to talk about what I did, my experiences with the game, what you can do, what other people do. So let's just let's just get into it. Let's just start talking. All right. So you followed my old videos. You got your your first the first first month's premium, right? <laughs> and you're wondering what to do next. Look, the the world is your oyster. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. Okay. So if you want to continue like doing dungeons and maxing out your specs. That's great. If you want to start building your bankroll, building houses, getting more farmland, that's also great. If you want to start doing corrupted dungeons with your, you know, premium and getting some stuff that way, that's great. There's so many things you can do. Like, uh, like right now, if I if I go to Twitch and I look at what everyone's doing on Twitch, I can see that most people are doing corrupted dungeons. That's the go-to. That's the standard thing that people play this game for. They when they log in. They get their dopamine hit, they get their fix, they go and do 1v1 corrupted dungeons. I don't, I personally don't like corrupted dungeons. I think they're slow, they take forever to clear, the rewards aren't really worth it until you hit Slayer difficulty. Uh, the Rock, Paper, Scissors 1v1 meta is not fun to me. I don't like the fact that they can run away and reset the fight, that's really stupid. I, Whenever I fight someone in an MMORPG, yeah, if they run away, you know, then it's whatever, but like, that's kind of lame. I want to fight to the death. I want, like, a 1v1 mode, right? You know, some people, they have friends they do Hellgates with. They do the Avalonian raids. They do all sorts of different things. Maybe they do the ZVZ stuff, you know? Like, one one thing that I somewhat enjoy doing is picking a giant AoE death ray weapon and doing the, the Faction Warfare stuff, but it's not always available. Like, right now, uh, looks like uh, Martlock is capturing Adren's Hill. There's not like like Bridgewatch is, is pushing out into the into the red zones. I don't really give a crap about red zone stuff because you can lose all your loot. Uh, but that's see that's me personally. I don't like doing that content. So right now that content is not available to me. Uh, looks like Limhurst is pushing into Bridgewatch too. So I could I could come here and defend. Defending is not as fun either, especially with expensive loot because you know there's a repair bill. Why is there a repair bill in the yellow zones? That's kind of stupid. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, and the point is, is that, like, this is not really content that I want to do. I want to be in the big blob taking over the zones, not so much being the, the small blob trying to defend. So when they push here, eventually Bridgewatch will probably push back. I don't know why Limhurst is bothering with the Yellow Zone stuff during the Bandit Assault anyway. Like, they really should be pushing in here if they want to min-max their points, but that's besides the point. You do whatever you want in the freaking game, okay? You do whatever it is that you like doing. And here's here's my story. When I first started the game... I, I wanted to be a main tank. I wanted to I wanted to be a big beefy tank boy. I mean, my, my name is Swole Benji. I'm supposed to be big and tough and buff and you know, ha not having friends. I was like, you know, everyone wants tanks. Everyone likes tanks and MMORPGs. I want to be a tank. So that's how I started my journey in this game. Was I was a tank doing group dungeons, but I was also a lumberjack because you know lumberjacks are manly and big and tough and rugged and all the women want to have sex with lumberjack firemen tanks right so the point is is that i you know i would gather wood and i would also do group dungeons unfortunately when i did group dungeons i learned that this game has a lot of rats and what i mean by that is i would invite people from looking for group chat to do red zone group dungeons right because that's what was worth doing in group dungeons and, and we would faction flag up in Fort Sterling, and we would go out to a red zone dungeon, like tier 6, tier 7, you know, zone, whatever. And we would do dungeons, but every single time, because I didn't know anybody, you know, I didn't know anybody in these groups. They had their own little pocket of friends, and whenever they saw me advertising, you know, looking for group red zone faction flag dungeons, they saw money. They saw an opportunity to make big bank, and they did. Um, you know, tanking sets back then, they weren't as cheap as they are now. They were a little, quite expensive. I had to gather for like a couple hours to afford a tank set. So I would go out with these random people I don't even know. I would tank the dungeon and about halfway through or, or towards the end of the boss, you know, where, where we get to the boss, five dudes would pile into the dungeon and murder us. They would, they would kill everyone except for the person ratting them out. 
It would be funny enough because, like, we could fight back and, oh, suddenly the healer isn't healing us. The healer just dropped group? What the fuck? And the healer's now healing the killers? What? Like, the healer would literally heal our murderers. And we're like, oh, that son of a gun. He turned traitor and killed us, right? And, you know, they're having fun. They're having fun because they just got a, a group of, like, five, four people's loot. They got the boss loot. They didn't have to do any of the work. They just had to have one person in the group that was like, hey, hey, guys. Look at this. This guy's new. Check out his fame. He's new. Let's kill him. Right? And and that that was the game to them. That's that's why they logged in every day to play this game, right? And yes, it's something that I could do. I could join group dungeons that people never do anymore because they just do, you know, hell, uh, hardcore expeditions. But the point is, is that I could join group dungeons and then I could whisper to my friends, hey, hey, this guy's looking juicy. He's got a, he's got a, a Black Panther mount, guys. Come kill him. Right? But I never really did. I just wanted to take dungeons and make friends, but I never did. It was a waste adventure, and I, I eventually found myself bankrupt. I found myself poor, and I wasn't able to afford premium, and I wasn't able to afford re-gears, so I was just a poor boy chopping wood trying to make my way back up in this world of Albion, right? I, you know, and, and I would go to the YouTubers' channels at the times, and, and I would let, see what they're doing, and they'd be out in Red Tree Enclave killing everybody, and they would be out doing 1v10s, you know, they'd be out doing all this crazy PvP stuff, and I was like, man, I want to do that. I started doing solo dungeons, right, and, and my friends from World of Warcraft would show me around, and the very first Red Zone solo dungeon I ever did, because I started to do like a DPS set, Great Axe, you know? Everyone told me on Reddit, everyone said in the videos that Great Axe was the fastest dungeon farm. So, of course, I picked up Great Axe, I picked up the, the Lightning Jacket, the Stalker Jacket, this is this is the Spectre Jacket, the, the Stalker Jacket, you know, because people told me it was fast. And I would go out to the Red Zone with my friends, and they were showing me the solo dungeons and how it worked, right? And the very first one we did... We, a guy came in with a carving sword and killed all three of us. There was nothing we could do. We didn't have the gear for it or the or the item power or the spec or nothing. He just murdered us brutally. We, we didn't have a healer, so he, he cleaned us out. He killed us all. I would later figure out that this guy was a YouTuber named e -Quartz. <laughs> Fun stuff, actually. True story, by the way. Absolute true story. Anyway. The point is, is that, man, I got real discouraged. I was like, screw this shit. I'm not making any money. I'm not having fun doing this crap. Why am I doing it? This is dumb, right? Now, at the time, y'all may not know this, but Yellow Zones did cap your IP. So if you went into the Yellow Zones and uh, tried to do dungeons, uh, it would limit how powerful your character was. So you would clear them pretty dang slow. That's not the case anymore. But at this time, when I played, it was. So I just said, screw it. I'm just going to be the, the best effing lumberjack ever so i just started chopping trees that's all i did i would log in and i would chop trees and i would listen to music and i would watch anime and i would you know watch youtube and i would watch other youtubers and i would just live through them you know i i didn't have the, the item power for the pvp i didn't have the item power to go solo 10 fucking dudes so i just watched them do it while i gathered and i slowly very slowly built up my bankroll i started getting you know, learning how islands work and laborers, and before you know it, I was making huge money. I was crafting bows, I was going back and forth from towns, I was focus refining, I was getting multiple alt characters. And then and then a patch hit and the economy dumped. You know, you know that dump it meme with the Bogan brothers um, from like investment channels where uh, they say dump it, and then like the stocks go all the way down to the fuck the the floor, and the, all the investors' faces turn red and they start screaming. Well, that was me because I had been lumberjacking for so long in this game. I, I mean, at this point, I was tier eight, I had multiple islands, with lumberjacks, and I was crafting. Everything was Gucci until that patch day, and then, and then I realized this isn't working. I'm I'm losing money. I'm losing time. I'm, I'm barely making anything anymore. The economy just dumped, and I'm broke again. What the hell? This game sucks. I hate it, <laughs> right? And um, and then I learned about the test realm, right? Because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be that guy that killed me in that dungeon all those that time ago. That that freaking sword guy that came in. He killed me and my my two friends, and there was nothing we could do about it. I want to be that guy. I, I just want to. I just want to be that guy. Screw it. So I. I logged into the test realm, and I decided I'm just going to sit here for the next week, and I'm going to spreadsheet and math every single freaking weapon in the game, every single item combination. I'm going to use my brain power and math, the power of math, and I'm going to solve this shit. I'm going to figure out how to beat this, this game, okay? Then I, I discovered, well, bolt casters for a new character was way faster than Great Axe, and I, I realized a lot of these... 
videos were just, you know, they weren't they weren't bad. They just weren't my cup of tea. They they weren't exactly telling the full truth. You know, I would learn all the all the interesting secrets about money making and how uh, you can compound your interest and, and all this other fun stuff. So I I was like, you know what? There isn't anyone online talking about this crap. I'm just going to start making videos for it. And I was having a bad time in World of Warcraft anyway. World of Warcraft was getting very sensory. Uh, the bots were taking over. You know, it, it was just, it wasn't a fun time in WoW. So I just switched. I said, screw it. I'm just going to play this full time. Screw it. Whatever. And uh, that's, where the, that's where I started making the videos. <laughs> right? And yeah. That, that that was like my journey so far. So I learned all about farming on islands because I didn't know what I was doing. I learned all about speedrunning tier 5 solo dungeons because remember when I said that patch hit? You know, it changed everything. And it's what I like doing. I, I learned that if you, you can flag up in a yellow zone with superior gear that people can't match you with, which is the same thing I like to do in World of Warcraft is go to the newbie zones and just torment and be a villain. That's fun to me. That's exciting. That I can spend all day doing that. And oh man, it's great. It's fun. It's the most fun thing ever, right? But you know, the fun is something that you have to discover as the player, okay? So <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just running around on my lizard. There's not much really to do in the game while I talk about this, but the you gotta you gotta figure out what's fun for you, bro. I can't tell you specifically what you will like doing okay so for example uh, i was on twitch last night i was looking for english speaking streamers and they were all pretty dang boring right there was like someone doing an avalonian raid and then they just died and kneeled for 10 minutes while the raid cleaned up like that's boring who cares like once you have money and and fame in the game like fame being your experience points for your weapons and stuff you, you don't really need any more like once you're set you're set you can just play however the heck you want but i did find a guy and here's what he did the whole time he would take a tier 4 flat set worth about 20 to 30,000 silver. He would flag up and go into the red zone and he would have like 10 dudes follow him and he would just kill one of the 10 dudes. And this guy, you know, he's like throwing away 20 to 30,000 silver at a time, but he he's just killing people, right? And he he found it highly enjoyable. That's what he liked doing. He wasn't making a profit. He he didn't need to make a profit. The dude was loaded, right? Uh the amount of money that I can make in 30 minutes at most is 5 million silver, which is huge. That's a huge amount, and it took me many, many months and a huge investment to be able to reach that point, right? So for his set to cost 30,000, for me to do the same thing, uh, in 30 minutes, I can get about 166 sets of items in 30 minutes. So I could do what he was doing 166 times. But the thing is, I don't find that activity fun. Sure, he's killing people, and they're losing their 500k set, and all the other blues are just kind of divvying up the loot, right? That's why the blues do what they do. But to me, killing someone to raise your arbitrary number, like like you can see on this character, it's only 1.7 million. I don't give a shit. I don't care if someone looks at my stats page and is like, wow, he's only got a million PvP fame. What a loser, dude. Oh, I gotta change this. I'm up to 27k now. Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> but the point is, is that I don't care about my stats. If if I play Call of Duty and I and I I get one kill for every 10 times I die, and my kill death ratio is like 0 0.1. I don't care. I don't care at all. I just want to like do some stupid meme stuff and go me 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 over the microphone as I knife people in the back. That's how I play games like that. I don't I don't care about being no pro gamer having big stats. But hey. That guy did, and he was having fun doing it, and that's what he does in Albion Online. He's having a blast. You gotta figure out what you want to do in Albion Online, not what I tell you to do. So if you want to be the big alpha male, you know, you can't let your friends see that you're doing tier 5 dungeons because that's shameful, or it's disgraceful to use tier 8.3 gear in a tier 5 because it's not fair, then don't! You don't have to, like... It's what I like to do. Everything on this channel, it's what I like to do. It's what I find interesting. It's what I find fun, okay? And, uh, like, like for me, this game is basically Farmville at this point. Like, I go, whoops, I go here, and I have, I know, what, 44 farm plots? Look at all this junk on this island. Just throw it anywhere. Who cares? I just go here. I do my farm work. I'm not doing it right now because I compound my, uh, <laughs> my interests. Let's claim that. Uh, at the end of the month, I'm going to get four chests of this horse, and then next month, I'm going to get four chests and the next mount, which is the ghost boar. So why would I why would I subscribe now? I mean, yeah, look, I got 11.5k gold, 
Yeah, I could, I could literally hit pay gold right now in one month. Boom, easy mode, right? I could afford it, and by the time next month rolls around, I will have the referral rewards to, to pay for itself. It doesn't matter. But to me, I'm not going to play a game that, like, like to me, that's not fun. I want to mid-max my interests and my earnings, and so I'm going to wait. I'm, I'm a patient gamer. I got the time. I can wait 11 more days as of filming this video and uh, subscribe on that very last day. I'm fine with that. That's absolutely fine, right? So you got to find out what's fun for you. Uh, if you enjoy the 1v1 aspect of PvP and Rock, Paper, Scissors, hey, Corrupted Dungeons, that's, what, that's the big popular thing that everyone does. If you want to do the ZVZs and join a guild and be an ant in an anthill fight, you know, great, cool, awesome. I'm not going to that one. You... Me, I like to have multiple islands, I like to have multiple sources of income, like, like, oh, here's all my sources of income. Let me just, I, I've shown this before in videos, but I've got laborers, I've got laborers that return goods, I've got mercenary laborers, I've got mercenary laborers leveled up and stocked away for the one day, years from now, because I don't know how long this game's gonna last, it could be dead in a year, it could be thriving like EVE Online in several years. I have done my prep work because every MMORPG, they eventually buff the, the underdog. And the underdog is mercenary laborers. So I got a whole bunch of those packed away. So the, the very day that those get buffed, I'm loaded. That's, that's, a, that's free money. <laughs> now, I've also got skins and, and tier 8.3 items, which the last patch really reduced the value of tier 8.3 items. This has went down by only 100k. That's not a lot. It's not bad. You know, it's not terrible. This went down oh, two, two, two point two million. So I lost two million on this thing. Whoop de doo. It doesn't matter. Two million ain't, ain't shit to me anymore. And that's what I like about the game, is that I'm not reliant on heavy grinding to be rich. I can afford everything in this game, and that's what's fun to me. If I want to go out and buy a mammoth, I don't have to swipe a credit card. I don't have to do endless farming for a month to afford it. I have enough stockpiled away, and my characters across all of my accounts are all powerful enough to easily afford it with just a teeny bit of work. Just a tiny little bit of work, all right? I own several islands and houses and, and all that stuff. So to me, that I feel accomplished. I feel like I went from being dirt poor, dying in group zone dungeons, being bankrupt, to having countless islands, houses, resources, uh, specs, and multiple characters. So I am able to make money way faster than when I started this game. And to me, that's fun. That's cool. You know, but now I'm at the point where, like, like look, this mount is, like, this mount was 22 million. Now it's 18 million. It went down. But the point, <laughs> the point is, is that, you know, I got that Gucci stuff going on. And I'm cool with that, you know? Some people, they want their Gucci PvP stat up. They want their PvE fame up. They want their gathering fame up. They want to max every node on the Destiny board. Woo! Let's max every node. That, that's what they want to do. Me, I don't care about that stuff. You got to find out what you care about. So when people ask me, what should I do after your video? Do whatever the hell you find fun. Do you want to be the world's best bow crafter? Go craft bows. I wanted to do that at one point, and I found out it sucks. Just like at one point as a teenager, I wanted to work for a retail company because I thought it would be cool to go into the back room where all the stuff is and just hang out or something. I don't know. I was a weird, weird kid, okay? But I found out that that sucks, you know? <laughs> like, if you ever work retail, don't ever get into management. Just don't. Don't even get into a supervisory position. It's not worth the pay. It's not worth the stress and the headaches and the other people. It's not so much the customers. I mean, yeah, if you can't deal with customers, you shouldn't be in retail. But it's the other employees. It's the corporate, okay? That's the worst part about retail. So anyway, like, you, you got to find out what's fun for you and Albion. You got to find out what you want to do. Yeah, you can watch plenty of videos and see what they're doing and emulate it if you want. Find out if it's for you or not. Me, personally, I don't like giving up loot to anybody. I don't... Yeah, I can go to Red Tree and get some kills. Sure, I absolutely could. I can go pull out a crossbow and use a one-shot snipe combo and kill people. Eventually, I will be zerged down and destroyed. All right? They find it fun to, you know, consume... <laughs> people that go into their territory. Some people find it fun to invade their territory and get some kills. I don't find it fun to lose gear. I just don't. I, I don't like that aspect. I know it's a full loot game. Why am I playing a full loot game, bro? I play this game for Farmville. This is a Farmville game for me. This is something that at the gym, when I, when I do eventually get a cell phone, I can set on an exercise bike and I can pick my crops and I can run some dungeons and I can just sit there and get my cardio and my grind done all in the same setting. That's why I play Albion Online, okay? That, that's it. Like, 
as soon as a better MMORPG comes along where I can torment people and gank and lobby zones and use my high-spec, high-geared character to bully others, you bet your butt I'm going to be on that crap. Like, okay, New World? Bro, that has voice chat. That's all I need. That's the only... I don't care how shitty the game is. I don't care if you, if everyone's throwing money at the game to get an advantage. As long as I can run up to someone harvesting, like, a plant to go... Me, 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 as I shotgun them in the face. That's all I need. Even if they kill me. Even if I lose. Just because I can voice chat with them in real time and they can hear my literal voice uh, using a squeaker voice or whatever the heck I decide to do. You know, it basically like all those Rust videos. <laughs> that's all I need. That's the only... That's, that is a selling point for me. I don't need anything else. I don't care if the game is super grindy or pay to win or or you only get three abilities and it's ugly and the game runs like crap. As long as I can talk to people over voice in a video game, it's an instant sell for me. Instant sell. All right. So anyway, I'm so, I don't know what this video was. I, I guess I'm just explaining like, um, oh, I hoarded a bunch of materials so I can sell them whenever the prices go up. I don't think the prices have went up yet, though. Let's see. Nope. Not yet. Hold, boys, hold. Anyway, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you were wondering, trying to find out what you should do, there's so many things to do. Just, just, just discover it for yourself. Doing dungeons safely and securely helps you get money for whatever the heck it is you want to do. I was able to grind out tier five dungeons with my initial bolt caster set until I was able to afford infinite islands and farms, and that, and then the islands and farms propagated my money massively. Like, okay, one subscription became three subscriptions, became nine subscriptions, became I have so much money, I don't know what the heck to do with it anymore. All right, and that only took three months of playing, like, casually, not even, like, 19 hours a day, like, hardcore mode. And, yeah, you could find other paths to that, like, if I was to join a guild and do ZVZs and raids and farm tier 8 dungeons from a hideout. Yeah, I could have probably hit the same critical mass, but... I don't like dealing with people. I don't like bending the knee. I don't like having to suck on toes. Screw that crap, right? I did it all on my own, and I'm proud of it, and I'm glad I did it. And that that's all you truly, truly need. Listen, man, uh, before I go, like the video and leave a comment. If you do both, it tells YouTube that you enjoyed the content. So you better do both. It's an algorithm combo, all right? If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do it. You can always unsubscribe later if I start playing some other shit you don't like. And also, if you're if you're looking for guilds, I have a video that tells you how to join the Chad's Alliance. Look at the Chad's Alliance right now. It's 2,144 members strong, okay? And I haven't even, as of filming, I haven't even made the video yet about this stuff. So this is still, like, underground. This number's going to be huge by the time that video comes out, okay? And that video, it's on my channel. Just look at my channel. And it explains how you can join the Chads. You don't need Discord. You don't need anything. There's no requirements, no PvP fame crap, nothing. You can literally join. There's no tax. It's not a potato farming guild. It's mostly a guild to have fun and be in the videos and do epic, funny, crazy things. Anyway, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And I will see you in the next one.